Some good ones coming out. Yeah. All right, here's something else fun. The Portland Craft Beer Festival is returning to Portland. Fox's Iowa Elise is joining us now with an inside look at the event. Io, oh boy, this is going to be a big time. Yeah, it's going to be such a fun event. The Portland Craft Beer Festival kicks off tomorrow. We stopped by John's Marketplace in Beaverton, where you can find some of the beers and ciders that will be at the festival to talk with the organizer of the event. All right, so we got our first to pour the blueberry hard cider. This weekend at the Fields Park in Northwest Portland, beer and cider fans will raise a glass to the seventh annual Portland Craft Beer Festival. It's more of a backyard party than a regular beer fest. You know, most of these beer fests are big tents, halls filled with thousands of people. Uh, we're more like that 4th of July backyard. Sit down put out your blanket, relax, have your four-legged friend with you. From June 30th to July 2nd, attendees will be able to taste dozens of Portland craft beers and ciders, along with non-alcoholic craft beverages like coffee and tea. And then we have craft vendors. We have a ton of craft vendors from the local area selling all their products from pickles to jewelry. Um, it's kind of a, a great mix around there. Um, it smells like fresh peaches. Swift Cider has been part of the festival since its start. The owner and cider maker of Swift, Aiden Curry, says they'll have two offerings, including their signature blueberry cider. If you can come out to these festivals, you get a chance to try everything all at once. Plus, you get a bunch of other beer nerds and cider nerds that will tell you which ones to try while you're out there. So you can get some recommendations from other folks. Wayfinder Beer is one of the 48 breweries taking part in the festival. Brewmaster Natalie Baldwin says they'll be serving animal beer. Their fun take on an American Pilsner. Because sometimes you can go to the brewery and they have a lot of different things on, but going to this particular festival feels very curated and people want to put their best foot forward and uh, show everyone what they've got. And with so many vendors and beers to try, festival owner Chris Rhodes says tasting is the key to making the most of it. Taste someone that you haven't heard of taste ones that you, you really like, and uh, just give everybody a little shot. It's kind of a, you, you'll be surprised. Now each ticket includes 10 drink tickets and a keepsake cup. You can pick up your tickets online. We'll have a link at kptv.com for more. Back to you.